I believe that the reason why God took Enoch was because they could not understand the dimensions of this man. The writings of this, even to the point that those who canonized the Bible didn't put the book of Enoch. Welcome to Wasting on Jesus Official. Pastor John Anosike, who has been known to be a student of Enoch, said some interesting things about him in this video. He said that even though the book of Enoch was not added to the Bible, some apostles in the New Testament talked about Enoch greatly. And even though Pastor John have not read the book of Enoch, he said that he has encountered Enoch in the spirit. Sit back and listen to his statements. I believe that the reason why God took Enoch was because they could not understand the dimensions of this man. The writings of this, even to the point that those who canonized the Bible didn't put the book of Enoch. But Peter quoted Enoch. Jude quoted Enoch. So that means these guys were reading the book that they didn't allow you to read. I've, listen, I have never read the book of Enoch. I don't have it. I've never read it. But you know what? I've met Enoch. Face to face. I am currently a student of Enoch. These are custodians of God's realities. Their ministry didn't end on earth. Abraham continued in eternity. He became the gatekeeper of a certain dimension in hell and he in Hades. He was Abraham. Papa of course caused that dimension to be Abraham's bosom. Every man that died entered there. Abraham was the keeper of that dimension. His ministry continued in eternity. Moses visited Jesus. Elijah, they were talking with Christ. They were conversing on laws and prophets. Mainly a Luzudi. Give me a They have made Christianity so uninteresting. People are backing off. People are joining courtism, joining Illuminatis, joining all kinds of cults. Because man is a spirit. He is seeking for spiritual expression. Yet Christianity should be it. Angelic interaction, ascension into heavens. Pastor John Anosike further said that many have been thought to only have faith in God, which is an act of limitation, because the Bible thought us several other things that we need as believers. Some of them are the gifts of the Holy Spirit and many other things in the kingdom of God. Are you hearing me? So they have hinted at you, they say, have faith. It's all about faith. Huh? So it's not always about faith. Faith is only one faculty of your spiritual walk. There is faith, there is hope, there is love, there is dimensions, there are realms, there, is, there are gifts of the Spirit, there are diversities of the Spirit, ah, there are fruits of the Spirit, there are weapons of the Spirit, ah, there is war, there are walls of the Spirit, there are visions, there are prophecies, there are dreams, so there are dimensions of God, don't limit yourself to just faith, believe, hear a preacher and have faith, so that's just a limitation. Jesus promised. He said, if any man will keep my commandments, my father will express a certain, a certain love for him. And in that dimension, I will manifest myself unto him. So, sir, so there is another aspect of your faith in Christ that promises the manifestation of Jesus to individuals. There's another aspect that says, if any man shall keep my words, he said, I will, I will, I said, I, 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 I am a father. If any man shall keep my words, I am a father, shall come and make our abode in him. Sir, Christ in you is a little version of glory. Not even glory, because he says it's a hope. So what you're hoping you don't have. But there's another dimension where God and the Father will come together. To make their abode in a man. He, he, that is where I'm going. You people don't know what I'm seeking for. They are calling me occultic fools. You know why I've been so gentle to see if they can come along. But now I'm going to tell you what you, you are. Yes. If you're a church, a, a, a body of Christ, and you're listening to these dead people, you disconnect from this assignment. When you will die, Jesus will say, My son, I sent him. You didn't listen to me. You didn't even pray to ask me if this is my servant. You listened to false people and you took the position. Welcome home. Sit here, my friend. You're not going back. 
those that have listened to him will excel. That's what it is. Come on, sir. Check out some of our amazing videos displaying on your screen by clicking on them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get more amazing contents each time we upload a new video.